so to get into today's topic is growth mindset. So you're either in a growth mindset or a fixed mindset always. And we have these, you know, two options. And I feel like to be in a growth mindset, you really do have to be ready to break down your walls and shed all your old ideas to be open to receive what's here, you know, knowledge wise for, for growth. And it's so easy to slip into this fixed mindset, right? Especially if it's, you know, a pattern, if it's something that's so hardwired in us. So growth mindset versus fixed mindset. That's what I want to talk about today. Um, I think it all ties, ties together. You're gonna find that you've just been, and I, I've been a know-it-all. Sometimes I still am a know-it-all. I was a know-it-all last night at dinner. Nobody could tell me anything, right? It's like, I block myself from so much when I'm like that. And so part of what you've been sharing this week has really inspired this topic. And being a like this know-it-all personality is a fixed mindset, right? It's not a growth a growth mindset, just to throw out an example. And I think it's just so cool what you're doing. And, and I, I'm not doing it for you. Tim not doing it for you. Coaches aren't doing it for you. You've been like, hey, like I'm here. I want to make this change. Like I'm doing this. I'm reading the books. I'm showing up. So it's so cool. Just a reminder to everybody like everything is always a work in progress and the more comfortable we get with that the more curious and excited we can be and the more comfortable we can be in our own skin how did your parents and or maybe teachers mentors bosses classmates you know growing up like how did they praise you did they tell you you were smart or did they focus on how hard you were and I know for a few of you in here your parents were very focused on how hard you worked and that was where your value came from and I do think some culturally I've, I've heard that a lot from a lot of different cultures that parents get really focused on, on performance and if you think about that it likely determines how you praise others right is it about the person and how smart they are or is it about their performance and their achievement so I just try to think of ways how can I compliment somebody that speaks more to their character than the performance like how, how many ways can you compliment a woman that has nothing to do with what she looks like for example like wow I love the way you use your voice like you're so powerful. The achievements that somebody is having and looking more at the person. Now I know that this is a little different than when you're talking about achievements in an interview type scenario, but I really wanna talk about this just on like on a character level, how your mind works based on how you were praised growing up. How can we compliment people on what they're doing and what their character is and who they are as a human versus you know attaching words to it? Okay, is there someone in your life, a parent, teacher, friend, boss with a fixed mindset and you notice maybe the person won't take risks, can't admit mistakes, who falls apart, gets defensive after setbacks. And again, that goes back to trusting the process, being completely okay with setbacks, being comfortable with setbacks. But you know, it's like, what's your understanding of that person? What do you take from observing that person? And for me, that becomes very often like a, a, a turn off. So when you see a leader, right? Or somebody you look up to that like, so I bring this up just, just character wise and to ask ourselves the same question, like even in this job search, it's like every setback, are we completely falling apart are we getting super defensive can we admit mistakes you know i always like to to bring that up as a as a thought-provoking question because every time i every time you're allowed to fall apart right but like how quickly can you pull it back together that's really what we're looking for that's where the juicy stuff is decreasing the time of meltdown to a shorter and shorter period of time yes you're allowed to fall apart but we have to get it back together and as leaders again all eyes are on on us what do we want to be an example of are you really utilizing this community from a growth mindset space? Because all of you are surrounded by like-minded individuals. You're surrounded by people going through the same thing. You're surrounded by people who know people, who know people, who know people. You have a really big network. So, so get really honest with yourself and ask. And I see you guys in Slack and I know you guys interact and do a lot of stuff, but like, how can you take it to the next level? Was there a difficult transition in your life where you fell into a fixed mindset and lost confidence in your abilities. And I know many of you, this job search is a great example. When you find yourself underemployed, unemployed, of course, you're going to question everything and fall into a fixed mindset that you have to sort of claw your way back out of to understand the incredible, limitless opportunities that you have. When do you feel really good about yourself? When you just feel really good? 
Is it when you're doing something flawlessly or is it when you're learning something new? And that flawless thing, right, is mostly in our comfort zone, right? But what if we can get feeling really, really good when you're learning something new and that's the direction you wanna go in. And that's, you're already engaging in that process because you're here in a coaching program. So obviously you're here to learn something new. We don't need to expect perfection. We want to learn something new. So how can we make striving, stretching and struggling, maybe even, into something that makes you feel really good? Can you think of a time you were faced with an important opportunity or challenge with a fixed mindset. What were your thoughts, worries about your abilities, other people's judgments, um, the possibility of failure? Did that take you completely down and out of the game or like did you rise to the occasion? Maybe not one specific circumstance is coming up, but maybe it's a pattern, right? Every time you face a challenge, are you more focused about your worries about your abilities or can you take that same opportunity or challenge and switch it into a growth mindset and think of it as a chance to to learn something new. Think about times where other people outdid you and you just assume that maybe they were smarter or more talented. I hear this a lot when I do one-on-one -on -one calls with people because it's like, man, I see people that I used to work with or I see people younger than me just passing me up for the jobs that I've been looking for, passing me up just performance wise. And they're, you know, and you're making it about yourself. You're in a growth mindset. You've considered that, wow, maybe they use some different or better strategies. Maybe they taught themselves more. Maybe they practiced harder. Uh, maybe they were more consistent. Maybe they worked their way through obstacles. Looking at it from the angle of, wow, like what did they do differently? You're gonna get so much more out of life from just a humble place. People I think hear the word humble and think it's like this scary weak place to go no being humble like feels good and that's what i mean by i feel like many of you are being primed to be a more humble transparent just well-rounded leader so are there situations where you sort of act out of like ignorance speaking without thinking or jumping to conclusions i feel like that's ignorant is the best way i can explain that and what I mean by this is at what point and at what things are causing you to completely disengage with your intelligence and your character. And I bring this up because I've spoken to many of you in here who like when a setback happens, you want to, you're, you're out to prove people wrong. You want to prove you're the best. And you just want to watch that. You want to watch that pattern because it eats up so much of your time and energy. It doesn't make you right or wrong, good or bad. But is it just, is that really how you want to be every time something pops up? Let's look at the areas that are like in the dark for us, you know, like let's take a flashlight and like shine light on these like dark corners of ourselves that still need to come out. All of you are doing so much work on your thoughts and your mindset, but like how can we take a deeper and deeper look about how we're showing up? How good does it feel to, to speak to somebody where you can feel their level of transparency. You can feel it. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it because I've created so many boundaries in my life that I just, in business, whatever, I can't even tolerate anything less than that. I just, I just can't, it just makes me cringe. And every time that I see an example of somebody who's not living their you know, potential in that space, it just reminds me again and again, like that's not how I wanna be. Like how can I expose more and more of my true self and be more and more transparent? So think about a time in the past week. So this is again, just mindset practices. Uh, it maybe apply this directly to the job search or an academic or social or personal challenge and really ask yourself like, did I show up with a growth mindset or was I really still sitting in a fixed mindset? And how do you know? If you faced the challenge with a fixed mindset, how would you approach it differently? Reflect on real life examples of the use of growth mindset by you or someone you know, and do some journaling or free writing about this example. Guys, if anybody on here feels like at any time during this conversation, something's popping up in your mind where you're like, oh man, like I'm definitely robbing myself of this. Like I'm guilty of this with myself. I'm not aligned with my core beliefs around this. Just take one action. Just take one action to get yourself going in, in the right direction. But I'm always asking myself, how can I get uh, just one step closer to exploring my human potential? Because there's always more. So you can continue thinking about this because this stuff's gonna define you as a leader. It's just one area of it. It's going to define you and you're all going through all of this anyway.